Disbelief and grief as supporters of Colombia's historic peace accord watch the results of Sunday's referendum come in. They didn't think of our future generations whose lives need to change. Those who voted no will carry all the death and suffering this may bring on their conscience. With their vote, Colombians have said no to the accord to end more than a half a century old conflict with the rebel group FARC. Can you imagine that the FARC, which caused so much suffering, will receive more help and benefits than us, the victims who were displaced? I can't accept it. While the victors celebrated, the losers continued chanting, we want peace. Shock has turned into anger and defiance for those who voted in favor of the peace accord. Colombia clearly split right down the middle now between those who expected peace now and those who believed that they... FARC maintains its willingness for peace and is willing to use only words as the arm to build a future. President Santos says the current bilateral ceasefire with the FARC will remain in place and that he is sending his negotiating team back to Havana to discuss a new deal with the rebels. But as he conceded, that deal will require incorporating many of the demands of his opponents starting with mandatory prison terms for the rebel leaders. But the main brains of the disaster, of this violence, of kidnapping children, of violating little girls, they have to pay prison. Convincing FARC to accept that and many more concessions will be a hard sell. As for the peace accord described by the UN Secretary General as a ray of hope for the world, its nomination for the Nobel Peace Prize clearly turned out to be premature. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Bogota.